Hi, and thanks for taking a look at ProBuilder. In this tutorial, we'll just take a quick look at how you can create trigger volumes and use them uh, within ProBuilder. So, trigger volumes aren't necessarily anything new or fancy. It's just something that ProBuilder allows you to do very easily and simply with the volume system or the boxes that it can do. So, the trigger volumes are used just for triggering events or such, whether that might be a player death volume or a you know, walk through an area and a spike trap pops up, or, uh, you know, ending the level when the player goes through a certain area, turning on and off a light, all sorts of things. We'll just take a look at how these are set up here. Right now we just have a cube that when it goes through any of these volumes, it turns on a light. When it exit, it turns it off. So, very simple. But, again, could be used in all sorts of different ways. All it's doing is triggering an event on enter and exit. So, to create one of these, all you need to do is create a new box. And set it up how you like. So let's say I want this to be maybe up at the top of this. And I can edit it. This is really where the trigger volumes are great in Pro Builder is how quickly you can set it up and get it to be oops, exactly the shape that you want. I guess we can just pull this out here. So let's say we need a trigger volume up there, so maybe when the player gets up the stairs, walks in here, uh, turns on a light, and then once they exit on the other side, it turns off. So, pretty simple. The next step would be simply to edit the textures on this. And just like we did in the occlusion and collision tutorial, we're just going to apply, in this case, the trigger material. And this sets a few special things on the planes, mainly that it won't be used at all in light maps. It won't cast any shadows, it won't receive any light, anything like that. So make sure you put that on all the faces, not just one or a few. Make sure it definitely goes on all. After that, you just need to enable the collider and make sure the is trigger checkbox is on. And then, of course, add your script. In my case, I just have a quick little trigger script on here that is set up to turn a light on and off on enter and exit. So I'm going to create a new light. and drop it right about in the center of the top area here. And maybe we'll even add on a halo so it's very obvious that it's been turned on. Okay. Then on the trigger volume, I can just drop in that light in the script and we should be set. Save that and hit play. So now if the player... oops, of course we need to turn off that light first. Okay. Now if the player enters that, it turns it on, and if the player exits, the light goes off. Simple as that. So obviously you might want to not uh, not have these trigger volumes show up in your game or necessarily even an editor. So very simple. Another part of having that uh, that trigger material on it is that you can simply toggle the zones on and off. Again, just like you could do with the occlusion and collision zones, simply turn it on and off whether it's visible. And even with that off, they still function just fine. Just like so. These are really useful for anything and everything, any kind of, anytime you want to trigger any kind of event. And Pro Builder simply makes it very, very easy to do. Set them up exactly as you need. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.